Hi there, I'm Neil, and with our new Marshmallow Martians book, Museum Sleepover, coming out soon, I thought it'd be really cool to draw a dinosaur character, but we'll be drawing it based on very simple shapes like we've done in some of our other videos, like the Santa Claus one, the gingerbread character, all those, so let's get rolling. So let's start with the body, so that'll be a big triangle, just something like that, where it's taller than it is wide. And we'll have it kind of sticking straight up. And then we'll draw a rectangle for the head, like this. And this will be a very cartoony dinosaur, so it'll be really fun. Very simple shapes, super cute. Let's draw another triangle for the tail, so we'll put that back here like this. And then we'll draw some boxes for the feet. So more rectangles, like that. Let's draw the arms. So I'm going to draw two rectangles for the arms. And Tyrannosauruses or T-Rexes have very short little arms, like that. And then we'll put circles for the hands, like this, maybe down lower like that. Okay, we'll put some circles for the eyes up here. We'll just have them kind of perched on top. And we're sort of going to draw this Marshmallow Martian style. So if you've seen those books, you, you'll see this character will look sort of like that. So we'll be having rounded corners, big goofy eyes, and things like that. Uh, let's draw the back legs as well. So we'll draw two rectangles. And don't worry, we will be rounding all this out, making it look really cartoony and fun. But I think it already looks pretty dinosaur-y. It kind of looks like a, a robot dinosaur, actually. So that's probably good for this basic sketch. So now what we'll do is we'll draw over top of it, and we'll start adding features and rounding out all these sharp edges or corners. And you'll see that it'll become a dinosaur in no time. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to draw these legs, and those will be quite round. And they'll be extra round because we're going cartoony with this. Something like that. Just two little curves. Then we'll come down to the base of the feet. And one trick I like to do is I, if I'm drawing a character that's really heavy, I draw the bottoms of the feet perfectly flat so it looks like there's a ton of weight sitting down on the feet like that. And we'll draw the first toe, the one that's closest to us something like that and then we'll draw the next toe right behind it and that'll be the middle toe and because it's the longest toe we wouldn't actually see the one that's behind that one and then we'll put big claws on them both toes and I'll actually erase this part where they're overlapping in a second I just wanted to make sure I got the toes r shapes right so there we go and I'm just gonna quickly erase this little line that I know we're not going to see. There we go. And now I'll round out that belly. Maybe we'll go a little extra rounded with this. Like that. And I'm kind of leaving a little bit of extra room to do the, um, the head and the neck. I'm going to make the neck a little thicker than the top of that triangle, but I still want the head to kind of poke out the top, so we'll just leave it like this. I'll put the eye back there. I'm going to leave that like it is. And then we'll draw a Marshmallow Martian style pupil, which is just a big oval like that. And then there's a smaller oval right here. And then I'll just erase the center of that. And what that little oval is is the shine in the eye. Now what I'll do is I'm going to draw the mouth first, and that'll help me shape the head. So the Tyrannosaurus almost always looks like it's smiling. So I just want to make sure I get that in there. I'll round out the, the lip like that. And then I'll draw the top of the head like this. And I'll draw a nostril, which is a, an oval like that. I might make the mouth go even further back. The T-Rex has a really huge mouth and tons and tons of teeth, so I just want to make sure I capture that in this drawing. So I'm actually going to, let me see, I'll sketch in the 
bottom of the mouth first, something like that. I'm just going to fix up this neck. I want to make sure that neck looks like it could hold up that big head. Even though the head will be very oversized and cartoony, I just it has to look believable in a sense that it it wouldn't look like the the top of the head or the head couldn't be supported by the neck. There we go. Now I'm going to draw the teeth on there. And they'll be kind of friendly teeth. <laughs> big uh, rounded teeth like this there we go and they'll get smaller as they go back towards the corner of the mouth like that and now we'll draw this front arm actually before I do that I'm just going to erase some of these extra lines right now and where we've gotten things crossed over each other I want to make sure those teeth are over top of the mouth and the head that's looking really cute. <laughs> All right, so now we'll draw these little tiny arms here. So I'm going to round out the arm shapes like this. I'm just going to touch up that elbow a bit. It's starting to get a little too sharp looking. There we go. And then I'll draw one finger and then two fingers like this. And I'll draw the lines for the claws right there. It's looking fun. And then I'll curve the back of the body into the tail like this. And then I'm just going to sketch a little bit extra here because I want to make sure that I continue this curve from the belly through the tail. And the best way to do that is to actually draw it through your other stuff. Because if you didn't do that, you might connect it at the wrong part, and it might look weird, like the tail's sort of not attached to the body. But we'll have to go back and erase that overlapping line. Not a big deal. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm just going to connect the back of the neck up higher on the head, too. So now I'm just erasing these extra lines, making sure things stay nice and rounded, getting rid of the overlapping shapes, and also making sure that I don't have too many sharp corners. Sometimes it's okay, like on the, um, the claws and things like that, you'll want them to be sharp. I'm just going to go in and touch up this claw. doesn't quite look right to me. Just the way it attaches to the toe. Looks kind of strange. There we go. Okay, we're almost done tidying up this T-Rex. Let me keep that bottom of that foot nice and flat on the ground. I'm just darkening up some of the lines and making sure I've got the curves the way I'd like them. Uh, I am going to add a belly line. So that's sort of a white or a lighter colored stripe that goes up the belly. You see it a lot on uh, alligators and things like that, and also dinosaurs. There we go. And then I think a fun thing would, to, would be to add some little um, ridges on the back. And I'm just going to turn off our other original drawing because I think we got everything from it that we need. So now I'm just going to draw these little spikes on the back, and they'll just be really nice rounded spikes, kind of like the, the teeth, actually. And I'm going to let them get bigger as they go down the back, and then they'll get smaller again as they get closer to the tip of the tail. There we go. There's our fun dinosaur made from shapes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this dinosaur. Um, I think I'll probably use some bluey greens and things like that, but please feel free to color it however you'd like. I'll zip through it in high speed and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. There we go. That's a really goofy looking <laughs> fun T-Rex. I hope yours turned out awesome and we'll see you next time. Have fun drawing.